What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you joining me for this next video. I'm Mike, of course, and if you haven't, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're up to date on all my upcoming content. We are just so close to a thousand subscribers. I will be doing a live stream and giveaway on that occasion. Now, let's get back to the video. I got a problem with this stand and these two tanks on here. It's been slowly, slowly tilting to the side and it just looks like it's unraveling at the bottom. And my job for today is to get the fish out of quarantine. They're actually going to get upgraded to a bigger quarantine tank, drain the water out of both of these quarantine tanks. Long term, I got to find another stand. Short term, I have a few ideas I'm going to show you as we go. Now, I wanted to show you close up so you can see how it's unraveling down here. You look at the bottom tank, see how it's so much closer? That's because it's leaning towards the right. I don't know if you guys know about what's in this tank. Let me turn the light on. See, I got some corridors in there. Really young. They've actually grew since I've had them. I also have three GFAs. I think they're schooling together right here. Look at them. Three, three GFAs. Oh, they're beautiful. Look at that. What's up, buddy? You hanging out? No. I know you see this tank. With my buddies. I always love the variety of how they get along, man. I rarely see any attacks in here. Let's show you what I got to actually replace the stand. So I came up with a really good idea. What else out there is <clears throat> capable of holding gallons on top of gallons on top of gallons? And as you can see, my answer was milk crates. Go to, uh, while the water is draining, I'm going to capture the fish at the bottom. They're going to be moving real fast. So Corey's out. We got five Corey doors in here and three GFAs. So. been pretty much just disintegrating. It's just rotting and falling apart. So look, a little bit of weight. That's it. A little bit of weight and that's what, that's what I was not wanting to happen when I wasn't home. got rid of that, we found an alternative, a temporary alternative, set it up for the next fish that come to quarantine. Ah, I see one right there. 
There he goes right there, a corridor. Corridor flying over here. There's a geo. There's actually all three geos over here in that corner. Oh yeah, look, there he is. Once again, thank you for tuning into the channel. But Mike Loves Life Aquatics here. And as always, if you ain't reaching for the stars, why are you reaching? I'm out.